Hey guys, I am going to go ahead and say it because I am the only one who is not afraid of Alpha Investment and his uh, army of Timmy Trolls who will obviously comment uh, very hateful and pretty untrue things in the comment section, but it's okay. Uh, this isn't even my main channel anymore, so F off. Um, yes. Sun Tzu once said, and if you watch Batman, you either die as the hero or you live long enough to become the villain. Rudy is the villain of the hobby. I can point to multiple things, but I'm going to tell you my record. I'm a lawyer and I deal with a lot of, I guess, shady, shady scenarios, gray areas, if you will. And so I have a very good BS detector, and it's everything. If you've gone to a top law school, you would know that every one of your classmates, they can smell BS from a mile away. Uh, that is one of the skill sets that lawyers have. And I found out PicoTrade. I called PicoTrade a scam before anyone else did. I called the monthly magic box a scam, which was promoted by Tolarian Community College. It was promoted at the, by the mana source. I call the mana source a scammer. Um, and that turned out to be true. He actually literally fled the country. So I don't know how else you can defend him. And now I'm going to call out Alpha Investments. Not as a scammer, but as something that in the beginning, when he started his YouTube channel, he was supposed to be the hero in the TCG card realm. I did watch a lot of his videos. I did look up to him to an extent. And I'm just gonna name the things that he's done that have rubbed me the wrong way. And that has really raised a lot of red flags. Uh, first and foremost, the 6.9. A lot of people don't understand why that's so bad. Um, until you look at sports. So unless you're involved in sports cards. Then you understand. Like Justin Gamble Gamble. They all sell repacks. Okay. And the idea of a repack. Is to rip off your customer. It's the same. It's no different from Walmart. And it's really interesting. That YouTubers will always rip on Walmart repacks. Even if Walmart is just. You know losing some value. But not like a lot. But then you have pokey tubers like pokey chloe you have other pokey dean you have other pokey tubers all they all have repacks by the way uh no influencer would dare rip on another influencer's repack because they themselves have a repack do you understand what i'm saying so when rudy took a stance against repacks and against mystery boxes and all these things because it's logically a bad deal his original opinion that mystery packs, mystery box, whatever you want to call them, is not a good deal, is correct. But 6.9 is a repack. 6.9 is a mystery box. Costing $700. No matter what you say about Walmart, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic repacks, they don't cost $700 and have so little value. So there's key number one. Was I hate repacks. I hate mystery boxes. I hate them from whatnot. I hate them. I, I hate them a lot. Because they are a way for people to scam their their loyal customers. Without the loyal customer even understanding why and how they've been scammed. Number two. So that's repacks. Repacks number one. By far. Uh, number two. Now the grading company. Uh, this and Okay. Number two. Let's take a side. Let's take a note. 1.2 is he was so upset about Hasbro and its $1,000 product where you could actually pull a Black Lotus. And he was so upset about that when at the same time or just months ahead, he was charging $700 for a repack. That to me is, you know, it, it just set me off because I don't know. You know, I, I guess I can summarize it the best I can by one of his own patrons. Rudy pumped me and he dumped me. 
That's exactly what, and, and the guy is still a big fan of Rudy, by the way, and has a up and coming channel and he's been growing his channel really successfully. He's like a, he's been doing a great job growing his Pokemon channel. I occasionally check in with him and he, he offers some interesting stuff. Um, number two is the local game store. Rudy wants you to believe that he is the hero of the local game store. Most game stores are not going to say this. Okay, but he does not, he's not doing a local game store any favors. He's actually a mini Amazon. He's charging a monthly fee to sell boxes, many of them at outrageously high prices. You know, Nightfall First Edition, MetaZoo, is $500 box, less than 70 bucks now on eBay. And when you buy a box or you're subscribed to a membership program like Amazon or Alpha Investment, you're less likely to buy local. This has been shown in many reports. I mean, I can, there's a million different, you know, studies and reports that show that if you're subscribed to Amazon, you don't go to flea markets, you're less likely to buy local. It's, it's just the ease of buying something. So instead of going to your local game store, to pick up a box at a higher price, you just go on Rudy and then order it from him. Or now Amazon, and he is so angry at Amazon for doing what he's done to game stores for so many other years. Before Amazon was dumping product, Rudy was dumping product. And I find that a very, again, very hypocritical that he would say that he is you know pro game store and every time amazon dumped product or wizard coast secret lair dumped product he's so offended for the local game store when a he doesn't have a local game store that offers gameplay and b most local game stores are afraid to speak out and they're actually defend rudy because they're in this kind of weird mindset where no one can speak out about against him because he's just so big on youtube um but I will because I spoke out against bigger. I spoke out against Pico Trade when everyone was just circle jerking it around over and over again. Everybody from Tolarian to Mana Source, even MTG headquarters, Jeremy Hambly promoted Pico Trade. I said, you know what? It seems like the token is inflationary. It seems like, you know, this is going down. And now the grading company. Let me tell you the story about Celsius uh, in case you don't know about crypto. Celsius was a bank. That was not like every bank. It was so anti-bank. The whole I, the promotion marketing of Celsius, which is a crypto bank, is that it's anti-banking. Well, it stole people's money. <laughs> I mean, it it's it's the whole Rudy stick, right? I'm, you know, I'm anti-Amazon. But you're you're exactly you people pay your monthly fee and then you, you ship them stuff and, and I mean, <laughs> how is that not Amazon for cards? And, and, and even even to the point where um, this grading company, you know, he, he's ripping on these smaller grading companies, right? And rightfully so. But I'm not a grading company. I'm the anti-grading company. It's like, come on, like, you know. Um, and you might ask, you know, why? Okay, so if, if these points are so obvious, like, oh, I'm not a mystery box. I'm the anti-mystery box. But we're still selling mystery boxes. You might just really ask the basic question, and the question is very obvious. If this is so obvious, then why are people still pumping money? Why is he still, you know, well, uh, I mean, look at crypto. Look at FTX. Look at Lunar Coin. Look at Free Arrows Capital. Look at people pumped way more money into those projects just because they use the term 69 and 420 and stocks. And a lot of the language and terminology alpha investment uses comes from crypto i don't think you guys know that because many of you are not crypto experts you know on my other channel which is bigger than this channel by a large margin um we cover crypto scams and a lot of the same phrase and terminology hodl and all these things where did they come from they came from crypto i read in the article that nfts were down 95 percent <laughs> That's being generous. At the end of the day, you make your own decision, but I'm putting this video out there just like I put a video out on Monthly Magic Box. 
just like I put a video on Pico Trade, just like I put a video on out on the Mana Source, just like I put a video out on the MPL. I was right about all of these things, and I will be right about this as well. Because I have the one thing that Rudy Chan can't beat, time. Time. A lot of the things that Rudy Chan has been vehemently against, repacks, mystery boxes, Amazon, you know, Amazon, secret lair dumps. Um, and now uh, grading companies that are not PSA or BGS or even CGC. Or, I mean, it's not, I mean, I've never heard of this grading company before. Now he is uh, promoting them or owning them or, or you know, some people will wake up, the large majority won't, but I promise you, this will have the same ending. I'm very good at predicting endings, and uh, this will end exactly the way I believe it will end.